so you can do a, a range of things for this. Profits are calculated, as I said, as the standard value in the total revenue of the catch, less the cost of fishing. And often optimization is achieved by a decent effort, you know. Uh, most fisheries economists will say there's too many boats chasing few fish, you've had it before. So the reducing effort is part of this. Facing out most fleets except the most profitable ones. So if you have a set of fleets and you do this, you shut down the more very expensive ones and then just use those that give you the highest return, for example. Uh, it's an ecosystem goes competing with or prey on the other target species. So if you if this is your goal, these are the kind of things we see when you run models again and again. So you say, okay, the whales eat our salmon, and there's no price for whales, there's a price for salmon. So go after the whales so we can get more salmon to sell and make more money. So so that's the kind of you can even subsidize somebody to go kill this the, the whales because it's a kind of intelligence that we see that. And in general you see a very, very simple of the ecosystem just to feed the profit to get it. Anything that doesn't increase dollars, you minimize it and vice versa. So that's what you do. In general. Uh, social benefits are expressed through employment, as I said. There's mainly employment. You know, the benefits are calculated as fit specific jobs per value of catch. So, so we, we look at if you catch fish with that vessel and sell the fish for a million dollars in a year, how many people can you employ to do that? Some boats are very efficient, so they need three people to take that one million dollar worth of fish. And that means this thing wouldn't fail at them. We don't like those kind. We like the boats that are more people to catch and sell a given quantity or value. And the thing about the social benefits when you optimize, most of the time actually it can be really, it can be really bad. You know, you, you actually usually take the, the ecosystem down because you are having too many people fishing. So it's not good for the ecosystem. And most of the time the workers, they don't make a lot of money. So they are there, but they're just hanging in there. Very, very poor. It seems like, you can picture a fishery that looks like that actually, I guess. And, and so on and so forth. So it doesn't work in many instances. And in the long run, the jobs may actually drop because the short term, long term equation comes into play. So this thing, the, the, the model shows can be quite uh, it There was a few years ago, I was at Malawi. And this was, we went out for dinner, me and my Norwegian colleague. And I tell you, when we went to that restaurant, we went to the whole evening, there was just the two of us. And there were about six waiters, seven. I mean, this no, maybe that's not a typical night, but that was the night. <laughs> so we're there for X number of hours, and only two customers, there were six people. They, they were falling on us to give us spoons or to pick up whatever. And as that was going on, I was thinking of a fishery like this. That's a typical thing. So I said, there's no, now I understand why these six people are going to be only scratching, right, for their living. Because uh, what we pay will not support that in a, in a reasonable income for six people. Right? So, so that's the kind of thing you see here. Mandated rebuilding, external pressure on legal decisions, as I described, may force policymakers to concentrate on preserving or rebuilding the population of a given species in an area. And let us say, you set the threshold balance and optimize towards the fleet effort structure that will ensure this objective. So if it makes sense to you, essentially if you have a system where whales were being hunted before and there's a rule that you can win again, what happens to that way? They have to just get out of the system. So quickly their effort becomes zero in, in the system and that will have a potential for uh, for example the example you gave right? if the tunas if this was something related to tuna that will affect the best, so we get their food, right? And then more food or less food, right? And then, you know, that is the way it is. So you, you optimize all stuff, so that's my naked video in the system. 
classifies an ecosystem structure. The ecosystem structure definition is inspired by, inspired by Odum's description of our ecosystem. And it, with that is mature, right? Where in mature ecosystems are dominated by large, long lead organisms. So this is for problem. So based on his theory of ecosystem maturity, this objective watches the long lived large marine large uh, fishes and so on. So you want to make sure they still remain in the system with time. You don't take them. Because when you do that, then the system is not mature according to what you So that's the basis of that. So the proof specific biomass production ratio provides a different way to for the optimization of overall biomass. So, okay, you see how it works? It's mainly how many long lived species use the part of the system. And you set up your optimization to make sure. Let's change your picture, Rashid. Yeah. George has passed away. Really? Oh, yeah, Mr. George, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's done with the wing, yes. So you know Mr. George? Now I speak, you can set up the space on the water. Yes. Like you do. Some guy joining in the people. So essentially, you do so. This this optimization thing calls for the balance, balancing the objective in the ocean. The starting values of the objective functions are each being standardized relative to their base value. So essentially, when you write this thing, what you get is a number that is related to the base value of your echo path model, right? So. So if you see a number which is what 1.2, that means, say let's say the, the economic rent is 1.2, that means it's 50% of the static model in the beginning. So that's uh, the way it's, it's made to simplify and uh, normalize this. Equal weighting in this. So the, the default is to have equal weighting in the, the, the procedure. But you can, of course, change this weighting. So in the default thing, we have all the four objectives and we put equal weight on And that means that equal weight in the means that an increase in profit of each 10% is considered to have the same value to society as a 10% increase in jobs or ecosystem structure. This is a very tough part of the whole procedure because it's putting weight. Uh, how do you come to job as a set of challenge. Maybe that is easy actually. A job in the dollar is easy. If I know it's already I can make that's not that much of it. But how about mandate rebuild it in a dollar for ecosystem structure? So we, we put, when you put equal weight, we are saying that losing 10% of your ecosystem structure is equivalent to losing 10% of your profit, which is a huge assumption. Uh, and if you know what your own weight is, you can put it. <coughs> So, 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 so far in, in, the, in this procedure, we have assumed that society serves as a, as a sole owner of the ratio. So we have a sole owner, woman plays this objective. Right? So that is quite easy. This is, uh, this is like me saying that we have two types of economies. You have the private and the public economies, you know, the firm economies. So if you have only the firm running this thing, it's quite easy, right? The firm will just want to maximize their profit and it's clear and they will do it. But if you are a government, then there are bigger things and other things than the profit, mandate the rebuild the social aspects and ecosystem structure you want to maintain. So this actually gives you a clear dif difference between the firm economies and, 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 uh, and, and the government. So if you have a government doing this, all they need to do is to decide the weight of and then they run. If it's a firm economy or so a firm only, you just put zero zero weight on all the others and only on the top, and that works and so on and so on. The interesting thing is actually when you, you have different parties sitting together to do this thing for their own perspective. Man, this is really where the fun is, right? We brought we brought different parties to the fisheries for years ago 
pushing in the ski valley right there in DC. And we have recreational features, commercial fascinations, right? We have the government people, we have NGOs, all playing the game like this. So put in what you want, let's see. This was a remarkable experience. But the thing that really shocked all of them is that they are really very close. They are not as far apart as you read in the newspapers. Once you force them to put down what they really want, you know, each of them recognize that they need the fish for all this to happen. So already that takes out a lot of pressure. So they are all support the ecosystem structure of some sort, and so on and so forth. So I remember the, the recreational fish that uh, the commercial said, my God, you think we are that close? You know, I've been seeing the numbers. So, so you can see a lot of interesting stuff here. And you want to actually sit down and do it. And we've created something we call the measure now. Artificial cell. It's Google that we use. And the walls are actually ecosystems. So we have computers around the nice table. Uh, and so the goal is to get different parties. So the play is tell me what you want. We feed it in, then you see on the wall what happens to the system, to the jobs, to the dollars as you play the game. They do understand kind of things. So this is how the platform looks. I don't know what I plan to. That has the platform. And if you look here, you see all the waste systems. So we have economic value. Ah, here are optimizing the way the economics. You see all the waste of the economics. There's a way you can play out the whole day. And mandated rebuilding, what I said, depending on what you want to present, you put weights here. Uh, these are different fleet types. And we were saving industrial and industrial. This sounds like the fishery in Ghana, actually. You know, I, I gave a lecture for the, the Gulf of Guinea ecosystem. 16 countries fishing in there were at this, were at this workshop years uh, ago. They have representatives from Nigeria, all the 16, and we played around with this. So that's where this came from. Because uh, so that's how they divide their fleets. And we saving industrial and industrial. This could be a job versus kind of value and the environmental thing. There's the optimization system. We talked about discounting. We have a discount rate for percent a year. And this is something uh, intergenerational discounting. If I get time, uh, I'll be telling you a little bit about this. This is uh, a concept I introduced actually in the literature where you are discounting not just for you but for future generations also. And we built it into a ecosystem. So you put with it. The whole idea is that you know, the fish you eat is your fish, but the fish your children will eat is their fish, not yours. And if you bring the idea into this country, it really changes the discounting thinking and makes it more long term. But this year you can play with the environment, get your answers are here actually. So for example, that's less than your copper starting for life. Here there are gains of up to 40 percent and so on. And then I think, yeah, on that, the way to do can play around. Okay? You know, for the economists and policy people, this is really the thing. But for them, the fun thing is actually with the animals in the morning, right? So she gives you one slide. I don't care. Maybe we should see more slides. Yeah, thank you. So the downside is that it's only in windows. So you're going to have to, the Mac people in the room are going to have to find the Windows friend for the rest of the afternoon. I do have that is all computers that I bought from Australia, so they can, they're all Windows, so they can be shared about. Um, we would spend the next 15 minutes just sorting out who you're going to sit with to make sure that the EcoPalm is installed on your computer, that you've got the fantasy to do.